SoFi Elliott Wave update for the 28th. So we are still in a downtrend. I'm going to look at this completely unbiased, act like earnings aren't even going to happen because uh, you never know how earnings are going to affect the stock. It's a crapshoot, basically. And so looking at the chart unbiased, we have we had an ABC pattern. We didn't complete the five wave move. We broke 645 and now we have an A wave down. We bounced and it looks like an ABC pattern for um, an overall B. And so if we create a channel here for the ABC pattern, we would be looking for based on how far the B wave is below the start of the A wave, I will be looking for around um, 560, 560-ish, I guess, would be my target. And that would actually break below this and probably um, actually like fill this gap right here. So 555 or so would be my target, looking at this unbiasedly. Of course, earnings can change that. And if they were to change that, I would look for getting above 656. If we can get above 656, which we hit today, then I would, um, it wouldn't necessarily be bullish, but it would, pro it would break this downtrend because according to the chart right now, we've already got a first wave and then ABC, we're on the second wave right now. After hours, we're up a little bit, we're at 637. That would complete the second wave and then we would get a third wave down to here at around 580 and then one more move down probably around 555 or 560. So the level to break is 656 and the level to hold would be the below this 610. If we break below that, then we're probably going to be doing the five wave move down. So. That's the look right now. And then, of course, if we do do this ABC pattern down and depending on when it ends, I'm expecting another pop back up to the high sixes and, um, you know, like 680 ish or so. And then we would start the last move down. And the thing is, the overall market, I have it possibly hitting 412 or so. And if it hits 412, then that would be the top. And so that's technically after after hours about one percent more so like where does that leave sofi at if we start consolidating and we're in this b wave then um that's not going to be good and so i think one of the the most likely scenarios is that we complete this going into earnings and then we pop um after earnings and um the market is selling off at that point we have SPY selling off down here, who knows where at that point, but we end up selling off after that with the market. So I don't think we're out of the woods yet, unfortunately, but we'll see what happens. We'll see if it actually does hit the bottom of this, um, these parallel lines here. So we have A, B, C, looking for D and E and then sell off. So. That's the update. We need to break above 656 and hold 610, um, preferably into earnings. You would think that we would get some kind of pop into earnings, but in this market, it's totally unpredictable. I mean, I can't believe that SPY was up so much over the last 14 days, 10%, and we were only up like 8 to 9%. But then again, you just think about growth stocks have just been completely annihilated over the last six months and they don't let them they don't let them go with the overall market a lot of times so this rally kind of seems like a forced rally for the overall indexes and the growth stocks are you know overall not really going with it so that's the update basically expecting more downside but this is not going to be a huge a lot more downside before we pop back up here to uh, the high sixes. Remember this analysis is based on the chart only. We could get some surprise news on earnings or some big news on earnings and we take off to eight to ten dollars. It's very possible. But this is what I see on the chart. So let me know what you're thinking going into earnings and let me know how you're playing it. Are you selling options? Are you buying options? 
Are you hedging? Are you going to sell all your shares? How are you playing it? And uh, what do you think about the chart right now? Do you think this analysis is correct? Or do you have a different um, way of looking at it? All right. I will uh, probably update tomorrow too and update on Monday going into earnings.